What's up guys, Nick White here, and I am very tired. I'm doing so many problems, but it's going to be worth it, maybe. I don't know, maybe it won't be worth it. I don't know why I committed to doing all these problems, but this one's easy, so that's a little piece of, you know, whatever. It's goodness. So, this is Lemonade Change. Um, also, check the description for information. Premium problems on Patreon, the same description every freaking time. Discord, whatever. Okay, Lemonade Change. Um... 30, 36 likes. That doesn't matter. Okay, let's get real here. Lemonade change. You're running a lemonade stand. The lemonade costs five bucks. Customers are in a line and they buy from you one at a time. Each customer will buy one lemonade only and they'll pay with either a $5, $10, or $20 bill. You must provide the correct change to each customer so that the net transaction the customer pays is five bucks. Um, You start with zero bucks at first. Return true... If and only if you provide every customer with correct change. Okay, so we loop through this array, and we keep track of the money, and then we have to provide the correct change. And if we can't, we do false. If we can, we do true. And we start with nothing. Okay, so we're going to keep track of fives and $10 bills, um, because those are the only ones that matter. We're not dealing with ones or anything. So yeah, int five is equal to zero into tens is equal to zero and then we loop through the bill it's super easy honestly this problem is probably the easiest well one of the easiest on the site uh if the bill is equal to a five dollar bill fives we add a five dollar bill to what we have okay else if they're paying with a ten dollar bill we um add a ten dollar bill and we can remove a five though because that means that um We have to give them change, right? Because the lemonade's five bucks. So they pay with 10, we gotta give them five. Else if, this means they're paying with a $10 bill. So else if they're paying with a $10 bill and 10, if 10 is greater than zero, I mean a 20, they're paying with a 20. If we have a 10, if our $10, if we have more than one 10, then we can give them a 10 and we can give them a five. Else, then we have to give them three fives. Right, because they we don't have a ten to give them. We have no tens, so we have to give them fives. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then we just have to check. Okay, if fives is less than zero, return false at each iteration, because that means that we, they give us a ten dollar bill and we don't have a five to give them. We're screwed. We can't give them the change automatically. So that that would be you know, it would it'll just go negative at some point if we can't give them the change. Um, if they give us a twenty and we don't have a 5, then what are we going to do? We're screwed. We have to give them a 5 and a 10. There's no other way. So we're screwed if it goes negative. And in the case they give us a 20 and we don't have a 10, then we have to give them 3. We get a negative 3. We're screwed. So you're basically just screwed if it goes negative. If you make it through the whole thing, you're good. Easy. That's it. Boom. Done. Seven months ago. Weird. Tens. Sorry. Tens. Tens. tens come on with an s all right thank you guys for watching that was it uh super easy one all right thanks like the video maybe all right or you don't even have to all right bye